captain on the bridge. Hello, how are we? Mm-hmm. We're getting ready to play some Genshin Impact. We are starting off in Inazuma. Jumping right into it. <laughs> I kind of just got here and was really blown away by this place because uh, I had been behind for a minute. So I was like, holy crap, this place. Oh, speaking of which, let me hop into the voice channel here. Because, uh, yeah, that's a thing. We're possibly going to have some buddies join us on voice channel. Hello. Am I am I muted? Did I mute myself? No, I did not mute myself. Ha. Hello. I hear nobody. <laughs> well, I mean, I got the audio set up, so you know, when we hear it, we hear it. Anyway, we will be having some folks join us, but we're gonna start off real quick with the new content. I happen to have Miss Kecking of the Kikchwing, I guess that's how you say it. I am so sorry if I mispronounced it. And we are uh, headed to a very, 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 very awesome place. We're going to Sumeru, and I believe the best way to get in there might likely be via this valley. I was herping over here not too long ago. And I just was like, okay, I can totally get here. So I'm setting it as a navigation point, And we're going to see if life will be nice to us. This update is about a day and a half old. So there isn't much information blatantly available. But it is said that you can get Kali in five minutes flat. So I'm thinking we go in there. I look at the quest, we approve the quest, and then we kecking. <laughs> Cause kecking kills things. <laughs> yeah, low times, how fun. Yeah, I've been kind of obsessed with Genshin, so lately it's been um Sort of just happening a lot. By the way, how you doing, Akuma? I hear you've been playing some, uh, some, uh, Tower of Fantasy. Has that been fun? Ooh, I need this. I know, I know, resource gathering. So stupid. But, hey, this is always useful. Okay, frame rate, what are you doing? You're usually really nice. Is it because I've got me on the other screen? It probably is. My face is so handsome, it's actually lagging my computer out. What in the world? Because I was trying to push the shiny graphics just a little, you know? I didn't want it to look all icky. And I think OBS is just like, heh, heh, let's embarrass him. Okay, we're, we're up, all right, this way, this way. I think it's this way. We even have like lamp grass to guide us. It's pretty good. Basically, hinting, hitting cap for level as the days proceed. Okay, that makes sense. Cause like they're new, so they are way behind on the content train, but that doesn't mean they're not good. It just means they don't have everything, you know, fully fleshed out yet. Genshin went through some weird iteration changes. Like for example, the experience of Mondstadt was absolutely bare bones and one would even dare to be sarcastic and call it a lame knockoff of Breath of the Wild, effectively. But then, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, we got Liyue, and Liyue just hit differently. It was beautiful, it was cultural, it was impressive. And all the while, like, we had Inazuma on the way, which you're going to see some of that, and then you'll understand why we're spending today on it. 
So I look forward to seeing what kind of like culture and like fascinating things are going to be happening inside of. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Just like that. Do you see this? This new country? I have been trying to get past here for days before this update. I did not know it was going to be here. I just saw it and was like, that looks like available space to me. Do you know how many times Paimon has just, like, bench pressed me against this area? You know what? We're taking a selfie. We're taking a selfie. Keking, can we take a selfie? Hey, hey, honey, honey, honey. You gotta face this way. You gotta face this way. There we go. Cool. All right. We're taking a selfie because this is our first time setting foot in the legendary country of Sumeru. I'm excited. Hmm. Okay, I understand. Hey, here's hoping work is going well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by having a nice sassy pose. Yes. Keking is a thinker. Let's see what the alpha pose looks like. I never really do this. Okay, so this is all we get in the poses for now, but I am friendship level like... Keking always disappointed. I am friendship level five with Keking. So it's like this sort of thing. It happens. Okay, so we're going to put you off to the side. And here we go. Wink. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to post that in the Discord. So if people want to add me as a friend, be my guest. It'll have my info. All right. So, Sumiru, Sumiru, Sumiru. Ah. Uh-oh. The camera is being a camera. How do I? How do I? How do I? You know what? We're going to we're going to jank it the same way we janked it before. Here we go. Like that. Ha huh, ha. Huh. There we go. I win. Huh. Lots of walking in about five miles per day. Wow. Five miles per day. That's pretty good exercise. You know, I'm lately I've been learning how to ride a motorcycle with Danny. And um, can I just say it's both the most exciting thing ever and the most terrifying thing ever? Like, I have never felt so freaked out before in my entire life. Like, it is scary. Like, mad scary. Like, it does make me wonder, like, if I lose my focus for even a minute, am I going to lose my head? But here's the kicker, right? I'm thinking like that. But funnily enough, ooh, four leaf sigil. <clears throat> I'm going to read this because I have no idea what anything is. This crest, which looks like. A four-petaled flower will sometimes appear in Sumeru. When those who can manipulate the elements are facing one such crest, they can use it to travel swiftly. Sometimes you will find clusters of cultivation that can scatter these four-leaf sigils around use. Their ability to make your adventures easier. They use their ability. Yeah. This is cool. First off, look at this pretty bird. Hi, you're pretty. Bye. That was like a toucan. All right. We can't do this with Keking. We got to do it with our traveler so that it means something. Right. Come on out. I keep a party for everything. All right. Let's see if this works. For those with noble hearts, 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 hearts. And now we have the new country. Behold, the legendary land of Sumeru. We have a lot to explore out here, so that is on the table. But we do very much want to align ourselves with Dendro now.
<laughs> Traveler. By the way, hi, Marion. <laughs> Eh? What are those? Did you see them? Uh... I see them. Little round plant-like things, right? Gone, just like that. We should ask around when we get a chance. Uh, yeah, you think, Paimon? You know, we just got an explanation. We did. Resonate with Dandro. Aw, look at the little Archon. I'm grassy now. Yay! Let's see what happens when I press the grass button. Um. Um. Cool. That's cool. I like that. That looks grassy. Alright. So I have a grass slash now. And then it looks like LB plus X does something. Alright. Let's see what the... the okay. Cool! Alright! So we can spider ming That's dope! Oh, Sumeru Rose. Okay, oh, snap this place. Alright, so I won't know where I'm going unless I do this. We're gonna go to the events section. And we're gonna go green innoc- or er, graven innocence. And we're just going to go straight for the quick start because we want ourselves some Kali. And yes, I know. Spoilers. Okay. So the thing is, right, I am very behind. And so we're doing Inazuma first. But we're here to see all the pretty and amazing things that MiHoYo has given us. Look at that. Look at that. New flowers. New fruits. New fruits! New fruit dance! New fruit dance! Let's go! <laughs> so, I'm a little bit excited to see, like, what kind of culturalisms are out here. Like, here's the thing about Genshin. So far, every society they've shown us has been absolutely fascinating. They all have their own vibes with their own, like, references to real-world history and culture. So... I've been super excited about it, mainly because I've been seeing, especially with Inazuma, a sort of parallel timeline of what, like, the pre-Meiji era would be like, for example. Okay, that hurts. Okay, look, dude. Look, dude. First off, this music is too fire for us to be doing this, and I don't have good characters right now. I have my Traveler. I gotta learn how to do this, okay? Alright, explain, please. Thank you. <clears throat> when creatures are affected by Hydro and Dendro, the bloom reaction will trigger creating Dendro cores. So, what does the Dendro core do? Tell me more. Please, please, I need to know more. Only a certain number of Dendro cores can exist at the same time. If new ones are created, once this limit is reached, or if the duration of the existing dendro cores end, the pre-existing dendro cores will explode, defeating or dealing AOE dendro damage. Okay, so they're seed bombs. With pyro, they will trigger burgeon, causing even greater AOE dendro damage. And when dendro comes in contact with electro, they will trigger hyper bloom and transform into homing sprawling shots that sounds spicy okay and then we already got the four leaf sigil so yeah okay let's try this out all right let's actually try to do this correctly oh i missed cooldown is five seconds that's not too terrible for bottom level this guy is a tough start but we're gonna do it we're gonna do it I'll hit you with this. Then we're gonna use what little we have of Toma. And water's not gonna be effective. Ganyu can at least get damage off, but it's non-elemental, and that's my problem. 
And unfortunately, this is a support type class. So ideally, I'm not doing so well. The only one who can hurt him is Toma. And now we can reel in. With the highest damage available on this team, it has to be Tabibito. Although, I think maybe I can damage faster at least. Nope. Nothing like Shikanoi and Heizo. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay. Come on, do the fire thing. Do the fire thing. I need more fire. Alright, how about this? Give me that. No? Nothing special? Oh, hey, you actually can take damage. Alright, you're dead. Ganyu is a machine, I swear. Ganyu is the one I rely on for this. But, okay, let's actually set this party up. We cannot have this going on. First off, Barbara, I love you, but no. I'm sorry, honey. Yes, 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 I know, I know, Barbara's so good. But we want our Traveler this time around just because of how special this is. And so we're going to go ahead and give the job to Bennett. And Toma, you are getting retired for... Let's go Beto. Let's go Beto. Yeah, so now we have three level 60 characters, and then we have Ganyu in back. Yeah, that's that's four level 60 characters. Yeah, okay. This is a valid team composition with Bennett doing the work with the healing. Bennett will be doing a lot of the work with the healing. So, fortunately, I've stockpiled on food. I can do much better, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I definitely do need healing, but uh, I've intentionally set this team up this way just because it's going to be higher damage and I made sure I had extra food for this. So this way we can at least showcase Dendro in action considering what we just learned about it. If I had a better different elemental healer at a higher level, you are interesting. I'm going to attack you. Hi. Cool. All right. Hey, guess what? Let's watch you blow up. Blow up. Come on. Do the blow up. No? All right. Fine. I'll blow you up myself. I missed. Hey, guess what? Boom. Have this. Yeah, you like it. Oh, dead already? Okay, that wasn't like a hill of churl. That was like a fauna to eat. Yeah. Okay. That was a thing to eat. Okay. So let's hurry up. Let's get ourselves some Kali. Uh-oh. We're already low on stamina. Hey, but that's why food is good. I wasn't kidding when I said I cooked. Look at my pockets. Oh my gosh. Dinner time. Yeah. Yeah. You eat that? And we're going to eat that because this is a strange new world. <laughs> and we have a bad case of gastritis, So, you know, we got to figure this out. Let's look at the map for a second. I need to see if there's any worthwhile waypoints nearby that can be trusted. Apparently not. And apparently we're going this deep in. So I'm setting the next waypoint to the next statue of the seven. And we're going to try not to get ourselves killed on the way. Yeah. Because if I have to go back to main party, I get it. I can do it. But then I'd have to go back to main party. <laughs> we're saving that for uh, Inazuma. My main party, they got the healing. And I figured out how to heal like without Barbara. It's called Noel. <laughs> Noel and Benny together. <laughs> Although Barbara is a great healer. But you know who else is a really impressive healer? Kiki. What is this? I want to know. 
Do you respond? Okay. Yo. I'm into this. Okay, I get it. Some kind of Spider-Man. All right. And look, there's a grass oculocally thingy. Hi, guys. I don't have a vision. Be nice. Now I have a vision. Be mean. You like it, Cold. I'm telling you, Ganyu's a machine. You don't even know. Oops. I missed. Come here. Yeah. Woo! Hi! Let's go! Did you just hit me in the back of the head, punk? No! No! I am not nice, okay? Sleep. Okay, it's mommy's turn. Mommy Beto. Mommy Beto. Do you know how much I love you, Mommy Beto? Okay, this guy, he's he's just up there. Let's do that. I don't know what it does yet, but I'm excited about it because it looks like it heals me. I'm into this. It's nice. I have no idea what Dendro does yet, but I'm excited. It yeah, it does seem to hyper-react. Hey, check your microphone on Discord, by the way. Oh, look at that. Thank you. That's cool. Hey, so Forza is working on a really, really, really dope thing. We're going this way. What am I doing? Okay, so you don't need Dendro to do that. Cool. So, let's main Beto for a bit. Beto's a good heavy attacker with solid defense. Alright. Okay. Alright. Um. Yeah. I'm a little taken aback. Look at this. Look at this. All right, so I'm gonna talk Genshin lore for a second, right? So, if you are not very far in the story, this may be spoiler to you, but it's not that big of a spoiler. There has been an apparent sign of an ancient civilization that existed. That's where these rune guards are coming from. And these strange creatures, these rune guards, came from an ancient country, the same ancient country that the Abyss cult seems to hail from. It is called Kanruya, and the rune guards that we know of are known actually as field tillers, for they believe that a battlefield is but a field of weeds to be tilled and cleared, culling people. So, that tells you a little bit of insight about how horrible they might actually be, especially considering how violent their rusty, broken weapons from 500 years ago are still. So, that being said, that looks like it came from Kanruya. That's a little bit disturbing that they have something that big. I just, I can't help but ask that question. What does this mean? All right, so we want to hit this wave rider. We're almost there. So if we pick this as our option, then we have ourselves a straight shot to the wave rider. And this will get us where we need to go. It's been highlighted for navigation. And we will provide our first Dendroculas. Dendraculus. That's what it's called. Mm. Have one of those. Cool. Alright. So, we're not going to get overly distracted, even though I am already distracted by another Dendraculus. We're going to go. Beto's going to take us. 
We're gonna go to the place to see the thing. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm not passing it up. It's a Dendraculus. Like, I like stamina. Stamina's great. Consequently, one of the new characters, it is either Kali or Tignari, gives bonuses to stamina to the point of being as good as Amber for gliding. And look, another Dendraculus. It's like they're welcoming me. How kind. Oh, the water's so pretty. So yeah, um, I talked briefly about Kanruya and uh, the sight of this, I don't know what that is if that's not a Dendraculus. Oh, the map says it's over here. That's still good. I guess I have to fight a rune guard. Is that how this goes? Are you broken? Remains of an ancient rune guard. It looks deprived of energy. I'm cool with that. I am great with that. Don't get up. Stay down. Yeah. We came here for this. Because if we can get on a boat, life is good. Summon Dendro Dragana. Okay. I guess I get another tutorial. Fun. Cluster leaves. I figured that out on my own. These strange spirits that accompany the appearance of auspicious branches are Dendrograna that symbolize the protection of Dendro. What does that mean? What did you... So does that mean that when charged attacks and aimed shots hit Dendrograna, uh, Dendrograna will attack alongside them. There are also some objects that will appear throughout your adventure that can only be activated by destroying using the power of Dendrograna. Okay, so it's like having a Dendro homie. Let's see how that works. Do me a favor and Dendro for me. Okay, I like. Me gusta. It, it's all Dendro-y now. What does this mean? Does that, does that mean I get to... Okay. Is that all you do? Wait, but what about, what about my this thing? I need this thing. Is it different here? So, in Inazuma and in the Golden Island Archipelago... Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. It has not changed. Cool. Boats. Yeah, these guys. I thought that that was that. But this goes to show you how bad I am at maps. Either way, boat. Ah, eh, let's go. We got a place to get to. We're on the boat, 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 boat. It's a boat, boat, boat. My favorite thing about this boat is that the plot never explains why it's here. <laughs> So, I am definitely getting a Arabia vibe from this place, and I'm loving it. And I got that much just from the music alone. But now we have ourselves a place that reminds of, like, rural England. A place that reminds of old, old China, like the Chinese Empire. And then we have a place that reminds of feudal Japan during the pre-Meiji era, or uh, the, you know, anti-foreigner movements. And then we have a lush and beautiful grass-filled Saudi Arabia kind of vibe. So now I need to know some things, because I love culture and history, and I could geek forever about it. So if people know culture and historical things, please hit me with it. I'm telling you. But also, it has come to my attention that we are now five countries in. Which means there are two remaining, and most likely we may even see Kanruia, which is an eighth country. Let's see how we get here. Um, it is still up there. Let's get Kali. We gotta get Kali. 
We will be there. In this beautiful land of Sumeru. Oh, the music. Genshin really has become quite the fascinating free-to-play game. To the point that I have actually dropped bucks on this guy just to say thank you for the content. Because, like, honestly, the last time I felt this free in an open world, it was when the first Xenoblade Chronicles came out. And that was a long time ago. And this is free. Ah, count on Paimon. Always about the food. Hmm. Not everyone, I'm sure. Uh oh, somebody's having a bad day. Yeah, I forgive the bad lip syncing in this game. Beverage. <laughs> they do sound distinctly less than excited. Ah, there we are. Being the meddlers. We can't help ourselves. Mm -hmm. A Kara Crafts. Sure. Hmm. It does sound like a weapon. At least in theory. Ooh, I can't wait till we learn about the ear leaves. スネールの童話に登場するモリニスム精霊の子となんだ。うん。元々本店は創業20周年を機に子供たちが大好きなアランナラ童話をテーマにしたアランナラおもちゃシリーズを発売する予定だったんだ。オッケー。So Sounds like first off the name is pretty bad and then the second thing is that they maybe want to make it look cuter. <laughs> Can't quite describe it though. <laughs> well, I mean, Paimon is like a floating child, so why not? Mm -hmm. The ill little fungus. Are supposed to be chubby and squishy. Yeah, it's gotta be soft. It's gotta be soft and like adorable. Oh, Paimon's an expert. Oh, 
目は惑わされても心は惑わされないってこの木彫りを見てるとなんだか心が落ち着かないの作者は心を込めてないような気がする私の心はこれをあらんならだって認めないもの I like the character clothings for like the general folks. They all have awesome looks to them. Just okay. <laughs> Is that a positive review? Mm. <laughs> oh no. They've gotten better with the script in this game, so it's like worth reading or paying attention to. And personally, I just like. I prefer Japanese voice actors most of the time over English voice actors when it comes to anime medium. And, you know, I don't have an ear for Mandarin, which would probably be the chosen language, Cantonese or Mandarin, uh, for the original creators. So, because I don't understand Chinese, I went straight for Japanese. <laughs> <笑>うん。ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、
like cleared it all by 10 and then we'll start to do like some of the ley line bosses and raids and that's when we'll be inviting others to jump in and join us for that so if you're into that it'll be like slapping around weaklings but hey it'll be fun and i'll be bringing kali to see if we can manage with a level 20 kali or get kali to 40 quickly on the fly either way like we both have to get Inazuma handled. Oh, that was a cat. Oh, it's that far? Oh, we got a ways to go? Oh, good. We can teleport. How nice. I am very glad about that. As pretty as this country is, I don't want to walk a thousand. No. All right. Mama Beto, take us away. I love me some Mama Beto. I'm at this fun point where, like, I've got a bunch of characters who have ascended up to being able to be level 60 and or close to, like, 60. And then I have some characters that go 70. But the resource material cost of it all is so wild that I have to sit back and just be satisfied. <laughs> so I've purposely been... Hey, squirrel, meat. <laughs> the captain says you die. <laughs> also, uh, don't do that to real world squirrels. I mean, they are honorable creatures, and if you piss one off, you are guaranteed to be swarmed and painfully. Okay, I see what's going on here. So I think I need to do that. Then I need to do this. Do it, do it, do the thing. Do you need more? Cool. So, I believe level 80 was in-game at one point. I don't know if there's more. Hey, we got our verse Dendro Sigil. Sigil. Looking for inspiration. Maybe call his cell phone? It sounds like a bad idea. Hey, forest rangers! All alone. Do you live in Gundarvaville? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee ranger, I'll do everything I can to help you. Sounds like we found her. I'm Razzy. Don't mind me. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, somebody doesn't know how to take a hint. Oh, wait, she does know how. Sounds like a good person. Oh, apparently you know who Kali is. Yeah, that's what happens when you skip ahead. We'll learn about it more soon. We just know Kali. That's just how it is. Mm -hmm. And there's Tignari being mentioned. Yay, it's Kali. あ、僕なら大丈夫です。レンジャーのお姉さん、その二人を助けて差し上げてください。さっきは<笑> 
Yeah, come on, talk about it, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, because she's probably listening. Aww. Okay, this is so wholesome. This is too wholesome. I can't take it. It's so wholesome. My heart's gonna explode. Man, Chakuche, kawaii is Also, everybody. She looks like Sprigatito. Yo, anybody in the chat with Sprigatito? Go ahead and drop it. You know Sprigatitos are our, our, our kitty. Her cannabis kitty. Yay, we have a green character. Make it happen. Yeah, you did handle that expertly. You're a good person. Yeah, we could use a little help. Wait, you just talked about Tanger. Oh, you're a fan. Yup. Meanwhile, the Hillichurl in the background is just like, This is my treasure chest. Called it. That's how we got the party member. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is getting good. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to get into this one. I'm gonna do this. It's gonna happen. I'll record some of this when it happens. We gotta get through Inazuma, and I'm interested in making this happen. So, once we get ourselves some Kali, do you want to do some wishes together? I was thinking of popping into Inazuma City and sitting on a certain Lightning Archon's hands and making a few wishes. It's going to be hard. ボク。僕。ちょっと喧嘩して悲しくなって一人でここまで逃げてきたんです。えっと、まずはお前を頑張る番村に戻した方がいいよな。私たちが、お前の父親を探し出して。いや、いや。お疲れ様です。これ、お
you know, nobody really likes you, Amber, so become the better Amber. Now your skill recharges really fast, and that's awesome. That's the first thing we're doing. The next thing we're doing is figuring out what you need for level up. Duly noted, we will collect that at another date. And then, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to kit you out with some really basic, simple-minded artifacts, because quite frankly, I don't have anything Dendros back, and I don't even know what you do yet, so we wanna just make sure your neck doesn't get broken. Tell you what, let's hand you, yeah, let's hand you the these, yeah. Okay, you take those. Mm-hmm. Almost done. Let's get you all the nice things. Yup. You just take it all. Cool. There. Now you have things. You have a set. Cool. It's a very basic set. It's not special. But you know what? You are special. So, let's get you up to the level 20 club that way we can hang out with our buddy forza very soon come on all the way please there we go yay collie's level 20 collie's level 20 and yeah we'll get around to artifacts and let's see about skills Nope, not yet. Okay, cool. Well, welcome to the new world. Alrighty. So, party set up. We're gonna have you hang out with Tabibito. We are because we're teleporting. So you will be safe. Mm-hmm. Beto's looking after you. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You got all the grown-ups here. Alrighty. And we're gonna go ahead and re-electrify Tabibito. Yay, we got ourselves a Kali. And now, all the way into the far east, deep in the storm, we go to the land of the Electro Archon, where we meet the lightning itself. <laughs> Gamma Gunning? Yes, we are gaming. <laughs> Welcome, Emily. Happy to see you. So, now we have ourselves a Dendro character who is default Dendro. So, we're going to go back to Shocky Girl. Yeah, mm hmm. Worship the statue. Worship it. Uh, actually, no, we don't want to worship. We want to synchronize. Yes. Get pikachu -ed. Cool. All right. And we might as well turn these in because, you know what? It's just never bad to turn in your things. Hey, 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 hey. Just all of them, please. I am used to cell phone because <laughs> this is a great way for me to, like, veg out just randomly and maybe not particularly in the bathroom. Okay, so I do play Genshin in the bathroom. But who doesn't? Come on now. It's on smartphones. And it's so much better than Raid Shadow Legends. Unless, of course, Raid Shadow Legends sponsors me. Then suddenly it's the greatest game ever. I promise. Hey, Raid. Raid. Come on, sponsor me. Although I'd be much happier if MiHoYo did. Sorry, it's true. I could talk all day about Genshin. Genshin's very good. Alright, I am going to the statue's hands to make a wish. And you know what? Let's also pull the luckiest character out in our whole, whole roster. Yeah, let's do it. Let's grab Kiki, the luckiest of all characters. We're going to generate some luck. Beto, I love you. Your mommy, you really are, but we already have an electro character, so I'm gonna have you hang out here. My small healer. He's so tiny. Okay, Kiki, get us some good luck. We gotta find the statue. 
There's the statue. It's right there. Okay. I might even have like a story quest thing, so I gotta kind of like play it safe here. I don't want to trigger anything. Because right after we do some wishes, we are going to go ahead and join up on Forza. So, yeah, that was a bit of an exaggeration. They said you can get Kali in five minutes, but the reality is you do have to travel just a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Oh, look, story stuff. Uh, we're going to have to deal with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I got to sit on mommy's lap. We're going to rush through this a little bit. Oh, no. That's cursed. Oh, that's cursed. Okay, so... They call them visions in English, but... It has a more creepy vibe when you say it in Japanese because the phrase is Kami no me, eye of the god. So, the statue has god eyes just embedded into it. Mm. あの、and Ronins are by default treated as criminals in every city. Imagine how bad that is. You're born into a family that has a duty, and you belong to that duty no matter what. And if you try to walk away from that duty and be who you want to be, well, you're a criminal now. So you better get used to hurting people. Oh, hello. That's interesting. Hmm. Sounds like Raiden Shogun is speaking. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that sounds even worse. That's going to make me sad. So, heads up, guys. Inazuma is about to be a really, really heavy, really heavy experience. So, in short, so that people understand, like, what's going on in Inazuma. Right now, they are suppressing foreigners who get trapped in the aisles in a village called Rito. At the same time, the... Archon of the nation is stealing people's visions because they believe that an item that is bestowed from a god should be the territory of gods. And because Archons themselves are representatives of the seven themselves, well, it's just the way it works. So Raiden Shogun is taking people's visions, and it's horrible actually. Because the visions themselves are an intrinsic part of who they are. That being said, now that we have our lore covered, I've got lots of gems, okay? So we're going to do a tin pull. And so we're going to have to choose whether we're going to do Zhang Li's wall or we're going to do Tignari's wall. Now, quite frankly, I'm in the Tignari camp right now. I am very into the Tignari camp. 
I also could use a little more kecking in my life. Just boosting kecking would be good, and having Mona will always be good. So, I'm thinking first, I'm going to go ahead and convert the last of my crystals here. So that we're ready to do two tin pulls. And then, we're going to do two tin pulls. So, here we go. We're going to do a tin pull for Intertwined Fates. Let's go. Yes. Are you doing it? Oops, wrong button. Here we go. Everybody wish me luck. This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be awesome. Is it gonna be awesome? It didn't look gold, but it looks awesome. Okay, it's a sword. Awesome. Okay, it's an emerald orb. Awesome. Oh, and of course we got Kali. But are we gonna get two in one go? Are we gonna get Tignari? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. Okay, fine. All right. Sweet. Hey, but you know what? We at least got a constellation for Kali. So that's good. I'm hyped. Woohoo! Constellation for Kali. Woohoo! All right. Now. We are going to do the normal fates here. So let's go ahead and power up our Kali even further. Or excuse me, power up our Keking even further. Or roll for that legendary mystical chance of getting Mona. Or boosting Kiki. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Do we get Keking? Do we get Kiki? Do we get Mona? Or do we get nothing? Uh-huh. Yeah, I see the swords. All right, you better at least give me a spanking wet. Ooh. <gasps> hey, it's Toma. The hell are you doing here? Toma, I guess you really are going to be our our new fire boy. Are you are you going to cancel out Changlin and cancel out freaking Xinyan? Cuz you're basically like the best of both worlds in that category, buddy. I mean, you're nobody I expected, but I'll take you. I'll take you. And what the heck? We might as well throw in for official. Let's see how lucky we are. We aren't. Awesome. Chi Chi, you have betrayed me. I believed in you. Uh, you have failed me. <laughs> We did good enough, though. So let's go ahead and reward our peeps with their upgrades. Woohoo! Deep Wood Patrol. Okay. And then let's get our spicy boy. Comrade's duty. Hmm. Okay. So it just gets faster. Cool like very like okay so forza are you ready ah okay well then i guess for now we're just gonna hit my own map because we still have lots of places to go and quite frankly i do have business on some of these islands down here especially down this way i do believe i need to go this way so i'm going to challenge myself to go this deep into hell and we're gonna start from i guess technically we could start here so we'll run north we'll grab some some ocean and then we're gonna go on a sail and all the while because we're at world level four and things will break our neck if we're babies we're gonna try out kali for a bit but if kali gets hurt then we will go ahead and bring out the big guns. Okay, so this way. First off, let's see that boomerang. It's a boomerang. It's so cool. Let's see what your grass arrow does. All right. 
So it's just grass juice. Okay. You just need to her. Okay. Seagrass. Swim, swim. We were taking a bath. Go, 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 Kali. I can't hear you speak into Discord chat. You're too far away. Let's bloom. Oh, this is the part where I get to do that. Yes. <laughs> Let's get medical. Yay, we got the things. Sparky Traveler is Sparky Traveler. Okay. Let's go. So we're going to get outside of this here peninsula. And then we're going to try to sail around here. And we're out into the open sea. We want to go this way, though. And I'm wondering what the barrier is for this area, or if they're really going to let us ride wherever we need to ride. Because supposedly, the lore says there is a storm, a terrible storm, one that will most certainly not be able to be handled by such a little boat. We need something mighty like Beto's ship. Let's cut through here. Ah, uh, the sandbar made it impossible. Okay, we can go this way though. Yeah, sure. Use the boost to get through. <laughs> I'm a boat. Are you a boat? You're not a boat. We're boats. How for boating? You a bad guy? You a bad guy? Do I shoot you? Yeah? I shoot you? Yeah? What's up? Hey, how you doing? Have this. Aha, uh -huh. you can't fight back. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I'm a boat. What are you? Do something, huh? Nothing. You can do nothing. I'm a boat. Ha, huh. I win. Okay. Not gonna lie, we do want to do this. Come here, you. Okay, get Pikachu'd. Now, let's see how you do. Okay, have some of this. Have some more of this. Hey, guess what? Have some of that. Did you just run away from me? No. Yeah, we're gonna get you. Yeah, you like it. But also, get some of that. And some more of that. And look at that. Not even level 40 yet. Taking out a level 57. What is this? What is this? Just handled. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? This is Kali. Kali's a machine. Me gusta. Kali can hang out with us. Kali's good. Kali's Gucci. We're keeping Kali. We just had a test fight and Kali just handled it. 40 levels. Okay, that looks like a storm. That looks very much like a storm. 40 level difference and Kali just handled it like a queen. I'm telling you, 
Best flower in the game. Cauliflower. Do you hear me? Best flower in the game. Cauliflower. <coughs> what, did nobody else make that inference? We're going, and that looks like it's going to be dangerous. That looks so unwelcoming. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Like, we're out in the open sea. There's nothing to challenge us here. I don't know why they didn't design boat enemies. That would have been really fun. But this does look like it's going to be dangerous. Look at that. Look how, like, vicious the sky just got. Let's see if we can get there. Because, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, this feels like it's going to turn into a the storm stops you on your way there. Or even worse, there's going to be, like, a damage over time thing. Watch. It's going to happen. Like, yes, we're a boat. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, this is pretty and scary. It's scary. Okay, we're gonna jump out for a second. Thank you, Kali. Thank you, Kali. She's just like, okay, I'm hopping in. Okay, if I had heard that from the beginning, I would have understood what she said. Maybe. Very maybe. She speaks very well. Okay, so this looks like the place we want to go. And also, this looks like some in-game stuff here. Like, we're going to get our face smacked in. I also see some plants I need. If you're what I think you are. See Ganondora. Is this the new one? No, this might not be it. Koseki Village. Seems like some end of the world business about to go on here. I am vibing with this place, big time. It's so shocky. Let's get up there. Ooh, lizard. <laughs> And haha, ha. world opens itself up to me. Haha. Ha. Aha. You couldn't keep it away from me. I'm here. I'm here and you can't stop me. Okay. We're going to hit this place too. It's already still in navigation too. That's the worst part. Amakumo Peak. I guess this is where all the hellstorm is happening. Okay. We're Gucci statue. We got to get back to the boat skis. Hmm. There's a lot of electro sigili around here. To the point that I kind of want to look around. Yeah, it's worth it. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm just grabbing the things. I know. Let's go. Where? What what else? Is it up here? Where where's the Where's the electroculi? Hmm. Me. <laughs> okay, it looks like Japanese, but it also looks off. Like it's in intentionally trying not to be Japanese. You know, like Pokemon text. When Pokemon text looks like words, but it's not. Okay. I do not see it. And it's not apparent. Is it in the sky? Is it way in the sky? You know what? It's probably underground. Because I do understand there to be an underground place around here. Either way, 
We shouldn't get distracted. Let's let's go in. Let's go way in. We gotta go to that place we were gonna go to. So, where's my boat? Boat? Boat. Okay, that's a boat. I think there's a thing up here. I kinda wanna address this thing. What is this? Okay, explain. Phase gates. First off, catalyze. Electro and dendro quicken will occur. What's quickening? Tell me about the quickening, huh? I want to know more. Tell me more. Let's see. Elemental reaction catalyze. So, creates an area of effect. Electro or dendro attacks the aggravate or spread reactions will occur, respectively, causing them to take additional damage. Okay, and now for the phase gate. In this world, there exists the kind of ruin device known as the phase gate. When two phase gates are in phase, it seems that an energy route is established between them. Kind of like a Tesla coil, huh? Those capable of manipulating the elements can use this to travel far and wide. Use elemental sight to check the way the opposite door is facing. Okay, so we're going to Sharingan. I do not see which way the other gate faces. I don't... I don't get it. Help! Okay, so it was exactly only one way. So it is this way. And it goes all the way over there. Let's, let's see what happens. I'm a lightning bolt. Look at me. I'm a lightning bolt. You took me to a whole ass place. I'm in 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 a new place now. What the, what do I even do with this? I don't know. Let's Spider Man. Let's Spider Man some more. Yeah, radioactive Spider Man. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, that's interesting. You're very interesting. I'm not interested in you, though. I'm here for waypoints, and I am actually on my way to a much deeper waypoint. These are all pretty, though. Thanks. We got it. Let's go. Okay, we're going a long way. Look at how far this goes. Is this taking me somewhere like far, far? Oh, this is cool. And we got a shocky thing. This is so cool. I am into this. Okay. Let's try to get that. Okay, we needed official for that. Nope. All right. <laughs> okay. So, Kali, you're up. Yeah. All right. Now, let's Pikachu them. Yup. You just got Pikachu'd. Abundance, please. Thank you. More Kali. And now let's have some fun. Let's make it spicy. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Let's get healthy. Max Boomerang. Do you understand this? I am pleased. We at least handle water enemies really well with our group. Yeah. It was just haphazard. I didn't even like go all the way into it. It wasn't that deep, but here we are. 
So like, I'm here on this island. I might as well grab special things like Amakuma fruit. Don't even know what that is yet, but hey, we're getting more care. Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you all. I'm your best friend, Captain Croy. And today, we're spreading some cauliflower. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. Abundance. Oh, cool feature. Apparently, if a different character picks up abundance, it actually increases the effectiveness of recharge. So, let's try to trigger that. Let's go like this. And then we're gonna go like that. And so that should speed up the ulti for my main. Okay, it does work that way, kind of. I don't know. It looked like it did. Energy recharge is on high. Yes. You like it. You like it. It's cold now. Okay, you guys are just living, and I understand that, but I'm gonna make sure you don't, okay? You understand? You, you get what I do? Oh. Is it ready? Let's do the thing. Yeah, okay. Let's grab some of that. These seem like important items. Spectral heart. I could have swore I've seen that before. Ooh, Kiki time. Yeah, have some luck. Have some joy luck. Get sparked. Every element. Every element. And all of the healing. Have I made my point yet? No? You want more? I encourage it. Come at me. Come at me, bruv. Yeah. You like it. You like it. You're catalyzed. <laughs> you like it. And now... There we go. Hit you with everything you hate. You may have a lot of HP, but I've got a lot of healing, so we can be here all day. You're fine. Yeah. Did you see that combo? I just pounded. I just pounded my enemy. It wasn't much damage, but I was just impregnable, like some kind of crazy fortress. And that's because I have two healers on the team. Like, I don't get why people even tried to say Kiki was good without the pearl set. It's not true. Or Kiki was bad without the pearl set. It's not true. Kiki is so good. Kiki is best girl. He's small healer. Now, if we get Kiki, Barbara, and Benny together, it just means that we never hurt again. Like, I think those three are the cure to sadness. And while we're at it, we might as well just put Noelle in. And so it just becomes unhurtable. Oh my gosh, I need to put that team together. We'll call them Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Unbreakable. 
She's got maximum power. Oh no, oops. Oh no. Ouch. Oh, where's my boat? We were supposed to do that. I don't have a big sword right now. I'm impressed with Kali though, like seriously. This guy. Okay, not so good with sneak attacks, but that's okay. I can live with that. Cause look at the skill spam from one thing. The cooldown's 10 seconds, that's not bad. But then the bow choice allows me to double tap it. And then the fact that there's all this catalyzing is just wild. Like, I'm liking Dendro. It's very easy to incorporate into virtually everything. Although, I'm thinking Sacrificial Sword might need to go to Kiki. And I don't know, because I actually have a build that's about Kiki and, um, and, uh, Changyun. Not Changyun, but, uh, Shinqueen, I think his name is. Oh, I finally got sparked, huh? Okay, I should stop trying to hit you with your own element. I need to hit you with something you don't like. Like this! Oh, by the way. Here it comes. Ah, he's warm. You like it. Come here. Get cold. Okay, buddy. Buddy. How long are you gonna keep this up? We can do this all day. I know our damage is trash. I know it's trash. But you know what? It's okay. I could do better. I really could. But I'm purposely using the B team. Because we're showcasing Kali's usefulness. Just baby level 20 Kali. Over here. Riding with the big kids. And doing good. Yeah. Yup. You went down. You got beat by the B team. That's right. Hey, let me tell you something. Hilly Charles are the easiest of all enemies. They just get Hilly Charles. Yes. High quality gameplay. Come here. Get shot. Our yeah. bit for next time when I'm on mic is gonna be really good because mm. there's so many little time when it, when you have a game as big as this there's so many little cracks that show and it's so easy to to jump in with minor cracks like oh my 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 job is being the joking pessimist <laughs> who's who's pointing out every single flaw I see and when I see a glitch I'll pop off. Right. It's just like, hey, I found one thing broken, therefore entire game is bad, no matter how good it is. Yeah, did you see that motion blur right there? They didn't they did not think about programming that with certain certain types of astigmatism. And also, did you see that lightning bolt? There was no way they thought that it would be safe for players to be running around when there's lightning afoot. And how could you be using lightning in water? This doesn't even make any sense. It would be discharged. Right. It would be all kinds of toaster. And where are the leaves coming from? It is hardly autumn. I mean... It's something, something, something weather. <laughs> hey, get back here, lady. That's whether you believe that or not. Oh. 
and that's the end of it. And that, that's where we end it. That, Actually, that's I'm, that's the end of the meme torture. I'm not on the mic for a reason. I'm taking care of stuff, but I'm gonna be doing that, and I'll oh, see y'all around. Too short. What even is this? You legit drowned from running out of step. <laughs> ah, so short. Okay, we're not doing this. Come on, come on, Chi Chi. You're small. You're small. Okay, first, we're gonna get out of battle. That's the first thing we do, is we get out of battle, and then, are you gonna let us party set up? We're party setting up. It's time to show what the A team does. Yes, deploy. Come on, deploy. Time to show off the grown up powers. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. You wanted to bully my child? You wanted to bully my child? Do you know what happens to people who bully my child? This. Allow me to reiterate. This. I can get bigger. That's right. Noelle comes with insight. Her sword gets way bigger. Yeah. We don't drown in this water. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. You. I'm going to beat you up more, okay? Do you understand? I'm going to hurt you in the face. Hey, hey, hey. Handle your stuff. Sourdough bread? Yes, mm. I am making sourdough bread. We are making sourdough bread. Someone else is making sourdough bread in my presence and I helped. <laughs> yes. Therefore, it automatically belongs to Nanashi. That's how that works. Uh, my first attempt actually were just completely failed and he's just showing me how it's done. <laughs> ah. Okay. Tutorials. I like. Yep, I did a tutorial. I helped. I failed. He's doing it. <laughs> It Sleep. Is, it, looks, it looks good though. I'm gonna go eat some sourdough bread. <laughs> and that's how the grown ups fight, by the way. We make sourdough bread out of our enemies. So, I am very much wanting in the near future to. Or not the near future, but. Well, yes, the near future to do some model updates on our characters. So, uh, I am thinking of incorporating a whole lot more of Danny's personal style in for her character. Because, uh, quite frankly, one of the most amazing things about my dear sweet partner is she is talented at rocking all kinds of crazy Lolita dresses. Like, she does the Victorian thing spot on like seriously it's amazing to watch and it's almost made me want to like i don't know like a steampunk dress or something i don't know how to do it but i do kind of really love that old victorian like classy look and you know i mean you see how i dress look at me now i'm, I'm dressed in fine naval wear and so like I know my new model is probably going to have something fancy like an ascot because we like stuff like that. Uh, there's no way I'm getting that easily. I would have to like, I don't know. I would have to jank that. I'd have to jank that maybe a little too hard. Okay, that does not look like a friendly waypoint, but that does. So I'm going to go for that waypoint real quick. And we're going to grab this thing. I don't know if we need it yet, but we're going to grab it. I'm going to turn this phase gate. Is this phase gate activated? It's deactivated. Okay. Well, note to self. We will treat this like a receiver and see how that goes. Uh. Oh, yeah. We do have to look at these guys at some point, but not yet. Okay, so it looks like wherever it goes, it goes around that way. So, that's duly noted. We're here for this. 
and the world opens up just a little more for us. I'll take some of that. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yes, I steal your veggies. What you gonna do about it, huh? I'm calling a boat. Give me my boat. Like, imagine that. You live in a world where you sneeze and suddenly boat. I'd ship it. Okay, I do want to try for that, but honestly, I believe it has something to do with the phase gate on the other side. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Because it seems like the electro sigili are placed in a way that means you have to have an understanding of these strange new mechanics. Either way, we're going. We's a going. Also, Forza, I've been waiting for you. I hope you come soon. But if you can't make it, I understand. Okie dokie. Forza is busy after having done a number of Forza things. Quite Bruda, if you ask me. Quite Bruda. So Bruda. Okay. I love this place. It's so pretty. Also, birds. I'm sorry, I'm that guy. This is what I do when I see birds in Genshin. I make chicken instantly. <laughs> I am a sadist when it comes to birds in Genshin. Cause chicken, okay? Sweet madams are important. I have a stockpile of sweet madams. Thank you. What? Did we just drown? We did. We did just drown. That just happened. I am not paying attention to how much I'm running here. Hey. Thank you. Also, this place is pretty. It's so blue. Like, Inazuma keeps getting fancier every time we go deeper, and all I'm doing is just getting a cursory peek at the place. I'm not going so deep. On purpose. Although, like, it'd be nice not to get stuck on sandbars. I do like that they program that in there, but it seems a little empty. Like, give us some ship stuff. I like ships as you can see by the ship behind me. You know, the Omni ship Benikarasu, which I designed myself. Ooh, birds? Do I see birds? Or are these cats? <gasps> it's a cat island. Oh yes, it's a cat island. Oh no, this is so great. Wait, are there more cats? Is this about to be like a legit like reference to IRL? No, none of that. I'm Sag. Okay, let's see what the Spider-Man induce. Yeah, okay, it took me here. We went here. I guess we get another one and this lets us Spider-Man wear. Oh, oh, I see. I see now. Okay. I accept that. Get us up there. This is why we keep kicking around. Because she can do that without the things. It is. Oh my gosh, guys. It's a cat island. I love you. I love this. And they give chicken. I can't handle this. These cats are chicken cats. They're blessed holy chicken cats. I love this place so much. It's heaven. All I ever needed in life was chicken and cats. What the clock? Just what the actual clock? I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It's 8.49. Okay. We're good. Yikes. 
the chicken cats. I can't handle it. I'm so happy. Okay, we're gonna have to be smarter about that one. I can tell. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Rule number one of Genshin Impact. Pull for kecking always. Because if you are not smart enough to handle platforming tricks, then you're me. And so kecking cheats are based. They're so based. Look at this. Look, we're about to get a bunch of oculi. We are. We're just grabbing all the things. <gasps> Another kitty. Oh, you look too much like Bear. Leave me alone. <laughs> I shouldn't pick on him so much. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. He's a good kid. Oh, this kitty. This kitty right here. And this kid. Oh, look at these kitties. They're so precious. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Even Kecking is like kitty. But then again, we have cat ears, I think. I think it's the way she does her hair, but we still we still treat her like she's a kitty girl because she's 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 a cranky cat, cranky cat lady, cranky atheist cat lady. Okay, so where is it? I don't visually see it. We need to figure this out. Let's let's kamino me and maybe we'll see it. Or Ginso no me, that's what it is. Elemental sight. Okay, I don't see it blatantly, but you know what I do see? Birds. It's rain and chicken. Hallelujah, it's rain and chicken. Mm. This was glorious. I made it rain chicken. Oh, and the kitties give artifacts. I love it. Okay, you can keep your apples. We got enough apples. Monsets just rich with apples. And sunset shows. Okay, we're gonna climb and see if we can find our electro swiggly. Or our electro oculi. Yes. Okay. So, I wonder if it's up here inside the tree. I did indeed press the wrong button because uh, I'm using an Xbox controller, you see. And normally I am a PlayStation boy, so the control scheme makes a lot of sense. But then once you start playing with like Nintendo Switch, you start forgetting about Xbox because you have PlayStation and then the button order becomes backwards in your head afterwards. So X becomes Y and Y becomes X. And then you see RB and you think triggers because RZ and ZR. And I know, I know, this sounds like I need to get examined. Well, I mean, I come from a different dimension, so backwards things is how I roll, okay? I mean, come on. I have a ship that looks like it goes on water, but it flies. And it doesn't even just straight go forward. No, it flies through time and space. Because I'm weird. Uh, is it here? I don't know, but there's butterflies. I took your butterflies. You got took it. Wow. This feels like a lucky place. <laughs> yeah. Confirmed lucky. Did you hear that sneeze? Tayo just like powerful. Enigmatic page. Collect all 10 pages. Okay. Toki Alley Tales. So that's a thing. Wow. Okay, so, low key, this has Ghost of Tsushima vibes with the way the lighting is handled. And I'm proud of that. Because Ghost of Tsushima is 
as good a representation as you're going to get for old style Japanese samurai movies. That is the best video game representation of that premise. Hi, kitty. Okay, I've spent too much time with the cats. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get back to my boat. Um. I still don't see the sigilai, but that looks promising. I'm gonna break it. Kaboom. <laughs> it just disappears. Here we go. Let's go, boys. Okay. I heard you like spicy. Yeah. Um, but we don't like cold, so let's come to an agreement not to deal with each other, huh? Ooh, 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 ooh. Super conduct. Low defense. That's the best part about superconduct. It lowers elemental defense. So the next strikes are always more brutal. And with this very cranky dragon sword, I basically get almost no cooldown time. It's like five seconds. Maybe less. I'm just constantly sparking. Cause like that's the ultimate form of Genshin is skill spam. All right, we need our boat back. Where'd our boat go? Uh. Hey boat. Oh, you're all the way over here. Okay. So I will go this way, and we'll just summon it again. Before we get electrocuted by Miss Cranky Raiden. Miss Cranky Raiden Boots, who pulls lightning sabers out of her boobies. Right, Miss Thunder Boobies is very dangerous. And I hear she's into bodybuilding bu because apparently she likes to show her guns. Yeah. Right and show gun. I'm pretty sure the first thing she'll say is, Do you even lift though? Yeah, let's go. Yay, bad weather. We were sailing on in the deep blue sea. There was a kitty cat there. There is a place we're going. I hope this place is close. <laughs> Cause it's not so close. <laughs> and we're sailing here with nothing to do. <laughs> This is, uh, very scenic. Mm-hmm. I get it, though, because it's supposed to be the ocean. I mean... Hey. It's very Japan. Actually, though, geographically, it doesn't even look like Japan. Although, I still haven't seen all the geography points, but we still got a ways to go. And we'll see what's out there, but I can at least see the light of the Statue of the Seven. So, we have a sense of how far we're going. So I'm going to let my end jams recharge. How much you want to bet this is like... Uh, this is a design by freaking Ningguang. This feels like a Ningguang thing. This boat. Like, Ningguang's all about, like, making things move with magic rocks. And it is golden. So, like, what if Ningguang is just sitting up in that golden tower? 
in the sky, just like, oh, someone's using my boat again. Better move these rocks. <laughs> and it just works from wherever she's at. She's like a satellite. Ningguang TV. Okay, nasty weather. I see nasty weather. This looks very nasty. Are you going to stop me? You're not going to stop me. We are maniacs. Maniacs, all right. And we're passing this up to get the statue of the seven. Because we do have to go here. I want to upgrade Toma. That was one of my missions. Hey, what's this down here? What are you? Not important? Not important. You are not what I thought you are. You're just coral. Okay. Let's try that again. I'm excited for all the challenges around here. This is just a cursory look at the country of Inazuma, which is mostly water and uninhabited islands. Because Heliotrols aren't inhabitants, apparently. Yes. Open that world up. Do it. Ha! Tsurumi Island! Well, okay. Apparently, Tsurumi Island is covered in clouds. Okay. That almost encourages me to go. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Let's zoom in. And apparently things can somewhat be seen under the map. So let's be sarcastic. We're going to try and just work our way in to Tsurumi Isle, which apparently I have to walk along here. We might as well make sure we activate that wave rider, so go straight. Start with the wave rider. Squirrel. I'm sorry, the squirrel was meat. You haven't lived until you've had squirrel meat stew, honey. Uh-uh. Squirrel meat. Okay. We don't really super duper need the boat at this point. Let's be rude, though. <laughs> Hi. Poked in the face. Okay. Yeah. I thought we were going to have some extra folks available to join us because we were supposed to roam around in a lower world level, but nobody showed up and that's okay because you guys are here in the audience, which I do appreciate. Mm -hmm. And we got Kali. We got lots of Kali. We also got like to see Sumiru like right away and get just a little taste. So I'm hyped. And now we're exploring the luscious land of Inazuma as freely as we can. To the point that we know we're annoying Raiden because she's trying to hit us with lightning. And we're gonna ask her what happened to Tiana. Because I know she's her. She's gotta be May. Just like how Yai Miko's here, even though we know it's actually Yai Sakura. Okay, so there's a fog. 
There's a fog blocking the way. I see nothing. But we're still gonna try. Because even in the land of lightning, I fear no evil. Get Ganyu'd. Again. Get Ganyu'd. Time for some benefit. Daha, <laughs> you missed. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> Ooh, forbidden cursed scroll. Yeah. That wasn't bad for the work. And hey, look, we got a thingy. Aha, uh -huh. you couldn't stop us with bad weather. Aha. Uh -huh. Also, if you think we're not going to be able to see where we're going, unfortunately. You can see everything as soon as you turn on your Ginso vision. Because it does show you the ground. And therefore you can see any sort of nuanced object. No secrets here. But we're going in. And the reason we're going in is because there is a luminescent mushroom. You lose your way amid the mist. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Game dev is just like, nope, nope, you can't do that. It's too hard. No, we got to make it difficult for you. Game dev mad. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well now. I guess it's time to set a new waypoint. Even though we technically have a waypoint in here that was verified. That's bogus that we can't access our waypoint. That's very bogus. So there's there's something about this aisle that prevents me from getting to know it. So we're going to get on a boat, we're going to ride around, and we'll try again. Mm -hmm. Is that a shocky boy? That's a shocky boy. Yup. Okay, so the spirits out here, some of them have these funny Japan mustaches. Like, they they're almost like... Like Shogun heinous handlebars. Hi there. What's your story? What are these? Explain. Oh, I see. Are you back, like, available for roaming? Uh, where are you specifically? I am specifically very deep in Inazuma. <laughs> <coughs> So deep, I think I am near. I, I don't know what this is. I am currently down here by um, Tsurumi Island, which is covered in a fog. Yeah, I, yeah, I went through Seire Island because I wanted to go around all of the areas and collect all the statues of the seven and then collect pathways all the way through just to make sure we covered it all. Oh, I'm... How about you? You're, yeah, you're a little more... I went, uh... East. So you covered uh, these west. three? Uh, I'm on, uh, near the Koju camp and, uh, Tatsurama. Would, would you like some company? If you want to come join me, yes. Alrighty. Let's... 
Okay, sounds good to me. I will join you. Here I come. Oop, wrong button. Where are my friends at? Hey, we're joining Forza. And away we go. Beverage. Mm -hmm. Ning Wang and Klee. Okay, and then I'll go. Hmm. Very good. So let me set up my party then. We're gonna go Keking and Ganyu. Actually, this is not even a high world level. You know who we're gonna bring out? We're gonna bring out Shika Noin Hazel. Yes. Ooh, we're gonna post that inside of Food on the Brain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go. I'm a coming. Blow up twelve exploding barrels within twenty seconds. Can you do it? Are, are you telling me Klee can't do it? Oh, okay. I'm figuring out where you are. There you are. Hi. Ooh, this is a pretty island. Have you activated this waypoint finder? Yep, just got it. Okay, so apparently I can't ride boats in your world. I mean, I can do it. I was just riding a boat. No, but you didn't unlock this particular waypoint. Right, but I don't think it works that way if I can't do it here. Well, I'm also doing a challenge, but hold on. The waypoint is over here. Maybe you have to activate the boat and then... Right now. Okay, that explains it. Yeah, because now we're boats. Yar har diddly dee. Are we going to this over here? No. Um, open up the map. Okay. To the left. See that statue of the sun to the left? That's Yashiori Island. That's what I need for uh, Sayu. Okay. Far left or close left? Close left. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to go that far yet. Uh, but that's where I need to go for... Because uh, that's Yashiori Island. Alrighty. So, um... Last one there's a rotten egg. <laughs> oh. I guess we lost this one. Let's go. Yashiori Island. Yeah, that's the point. We want to roam. That's why we brought our sparky people to the sparky place to be sparky. You know, it does me no good if I'm not near you, though. W where are you sailing? You are going to Yashinori, right? Yeah. Okay, I took the long way. I guess I'm about to be a rotten egg. Sad truths. Apparently, Captain is bad at navigating. I see the island that I came with. I just went. I was like, okay, let's go. When you said last time I was rotten egg, you went the opposite way. I just said nothing for a moment. <laughs> you got me. I couldn't be a rotten egg, I'm sorry. I mean, hey, look. We can make some pretty interesting things out of eggs. It's just we don't want them to be rotten. 
You know, I've been craving eggnog, like, badly. And I know I'm early. I know I'm so early. You are, but they've already started picking up uh, Halloween decorations. <laughs> yeah. Not that. You know, I kind of want to do a Halloween-themed thing. I'm just bad at horror games. Like, they scare me. Which is why everybody else will have fun and I'll just be screaming the whole time. <laughs> I mean, I know a certain Mephesto who would be laughing his ass off at the whole thing. He'd just be like, ah -ha. So you get to play this game and it'll be like the sort of horror game that knows your name and social security number while you're sleeping. But only while you're sleeping. Oh, that sounds cool. I haven't seen that yet. Hmm. Pikachu lights. Yes, I have crystal marrow. This is what I'm looking for. Yes. Okay. If you happen to see bioluminescent, oh wow. Okay, this place has a unique atmosphere. Intentionally so. I want to collect the swords. Okay, so they're meant to be triggered. Yeah. Triggered as an attack method. Duly noted. I mean, I can handle it. Oh, that sucks. Maybe you should learn how to dodge lightning. It's a random strike on your character. It just randomly strikes the air. Maybe, Maybe you should learn how to dodge out. lightning. I see the sky. You should still learn how to dodge lightning. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a bolt. <laughs> I mean, I'm just riding on this boat. We're just going. Let's see how close we are. Looks like you made it. Huh. You can't touch it for some reason? No, you should be able to activate it just fine. This I do know. I tell you what, I will step out of your world and we'll try again. Oh, cool. There's a defense barrier. I wonder if that's lightning element. If it is, then I have to do the protecty thing. Oh, that's a dragon's maw. Yeah, doesn't look cool. Yeah, and also, I see what looks like a statue of the Seven that is disabled. Maybe there's something to this. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's not a Statue of the Seven. This looks like it's some kind of platforming mechanic that's related to these electrical wall things. I did find your statue, though. I see it in the distance. I'm on my way. There are so many electro oculi over here, and I've already hardwired myself to just seek them out like madness. I already gathered a couple of them, because I'm trying to do a quick unlock. I understand. Oh, hi there. Um, I just got attacked by a rude lady. I can handle her, of course. Uh, 
Mm. I mean, I'm handling her. She's not very strong. She's only level 45. Punch. Nope. You don't keep me steel. It won't let you tag it at all. Okay, I tell you what. I've seen this once before. Only once before. And I think what I'll have to do is leave your world. So, I'm gonna come close to you, exit the world, and then we can re-enter once you've pressed it. And, yes, that's annoying. Yes, that's annoying. So, I'm about here. And I don't know if it'll release me. Okay. It's like... Right. Yeah, we can definitely do waypoints. I just didn't know Statues of the Seven were like that. That's, that's rude. Don't touch me in front of other people. I'm a statue of the seven. It's really not letting me actually there's no option up here. You have to turn off your co op mode now. Oh. Uh, mm hmm. That's odd. It's too many steps. Yeah, it didn't even drop me in the same place. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, I shall rejoin you. Well, let me get it. I got it. You got it? Yeah, I was upgrading um, my statue of the seven. Okay. I am requesting to join. I guess I'll play the DS. Oh, cool, I just got a friend of the dust key. Hmm. Cool. I gotta put Benny away. Okay. Oh, you have Barbara with you. Okay, that changes things. You know what? Hmm. Okay. Because I was going to say, if you have Barbara with you, that could be fun. You know what, though? Let's bring Kali. What the hell? Why not? What do we got to lose? We're mighty. Ooh, let me see your bow. Aw, too late. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah. You got a really nice bow. Oh, cool. You got a lucky pull on that one. Wow. That's real nice. Oh, Midnight Waltz. Okay, yeah. makes sense. You know, German is just basically really, really aggressive English. Right. I mean, either way, we're all going to the Kronkenhausen. Look at my bow. Oh, oh, you're gone. Where'd you go? There you go. Uh-oh, she's in pain. Let me fix that. I will stuff chicken into you. I will stuff so much chicken into you. We are up on our chicken. Kali, get chickened. Kali got chickened. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Some samurais. You have dishonored me. Let me tell you something. You ain't lived. 
until you've seen Ghost of Tsushima. Those are some real samurais. And when are we gonna get katanas? I want a katana. You found one? Yo, based. Oh, I can't access your viewpoints. Don't make the sword mad. <laughs> hey, good job dodging lightning. See, I told you you could do it. Yeah, you just gotta dodge it. <laughs> I'm teasing. Nature. Mm-hmm. We're trying out Kali. Seeing how this world is just weak enough not to be a threat to Kali's newness. 20. Oh, that's right. This is your world. <laughs> Got it. Of course. And if you see bioluminescent mushrooms, let me know. Because I could use them. And the fact that you have clear round is pretty good. I'm sorry, but you don't get to win this battle. Mm. Let's go, Kali. Did you grab it? Oh, you're grabbing that. That makes sense. That's a good grab. Kali approves. Get the thing. Get the thing. Get the get the get the thing. Okay, now get this thing. I'm sorry, I'm just being excited. Boat. <laughs> Let's make him mad. Ouch. Oh, that's right. You have Ningguang. That means I get instant ulti too. Because, like, I'm high ulti and Ningguang's high ulti, so it's just ulti city when we're together. Um, just highlight it. Highlight the thingy you're going after. Which one is it? North? Yeah, we just gotta climb back up this wall. Like is it the unknown one? The unknown temple? What? No, I'm going after minerals for Sayu. Oh, I understand. Okay. Need one more to. Oh, shoot. Um. We may need to travel back to the back to the back. Hmm. Maybe so. Do you have an electro spec character in your party to take advantage of uh, any hookshot things? I don't think there are any around here. Okay, so apparently this region over here is dead is actually deadly with like some kind of electromagnetism. So I am most definitely teleporting here, and that's good to know. Right. Here at the Statue of the Seven, you can absorb the chicken into your veins. Okay. Ooh. Hello, I'm one of those 
Hmm. You did? On this uh, rock over here. Cool. Can you see anything or not? I cannot because this is your world. Oh. In your world. Yeah. Damn, but but is, is he an enemy? No, he teleports away and then they like keep chasing him basically. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Try elemental site. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can really grab are vegetables and natural flora and fauna. I think part of it is to avoid allowing players to stack duplicate instances of obvious, obvious items that one might take advantage of. You know what I mean? Like, imagine that. You can constantly revisit your friend's Statues of the Seven to, I don't know, that's a bad example, but, like, revisit a famous treasure chest to constantly get prizes. Hmm. I just, I feel like this mage is, like, some kind of, um... She reminds me of the, um... The Abyssal Archmages. Oh. Yep. She got boomeranged. Do you have Glee? Oh, you're looking for rocks. Yeah. Okay. Do you need amethyst? No, I need uh, this blue crystal that you'll see on the ground. Mm. Do you know the name of the crystal? We're gonna use an app. We're gonna use yeah, an app crystal and marrow. crystal marrow. Well, the icon is purple, but it's mostly blue crystal on the ground. Okay, crystal marrow. Let's find it. So we're hanging out in Narukami Isle. Or which aisle are we? Um map. Yashiori? Yashiori. Okay, so I'm gonna take my attention and we're gonna take it over to Yashiori. Found one. You found one? Cool. Yeah, I, I know it's on the north and south end of the island. Alrighty. So you did at least look at like a map. Okay. Cool. Apparently, the island I need to go to is covered in a fog that is probably plot thick. <laughs> so, I don't think I'm getting the mushrooms I need to ascend my one boy, but if you happen to spot beetles on trees, I could use that for Shikanoin Hazel. Oh, yeah, I've grabbed a few of those. Mm-hmm. doesn't really help you, but... It doesn't really help me, but if you see him, tell me. Uh, oh. I need... Also, there's an electric, uh, oculi, like literally right here it's so easy to get from like right where I'm standing it's this way good job you got it okay to get in here we have to get some of those Pikachu stones hey I found a crystal marrow It's right here. There's two of them. I 
I love that I've not gotten touched by lightning at all. Huh. Two of them. Well, you pick them up with the X button, so they are a local specialty then. Maybe Klee can see them. Mm hmm. Team Purple. Over here throwing explosives. Well, I'll grow some plant life, damn it. So where are we going? Mm hmm Lead the way. Tell me what it's called. Uh-huh. That, he's like right there. This guy? Yeah. Boss? Yeah, I kind of need him. Oh, okay. For, um... Don't know what element he is, but I'll break his neck. Let's go. I, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, there's just a lot of climbing around. Yeah, that's the dangerous area. Mm-hmm. But you've got me with you. And even though I'm holding back with a little bit of cauliflower. <laughs> you, you like that? Cauliflower? Yeah. You hating on my collie jokes. Uh-huh. The silence confirms it. You know what that means? I'm gonna teleport up the wall. I don't know if you know this, but Leeway girls just want to have fun. Yes? Right, as promised. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna ride motorcycles together. That's gonna be fun. Oh, good. By the way, we have approximately T minus 30 minutes. Oh, <gasps> the bioluminescent mushrooms. Are they here? Are these it? They are not. But dendrobium are here. I'll take that. Oh, this guy looks welcoming. Are you ready to fight him? Okay. If you want to grab the shrine. Well, I mean, the shrine of the death is the teleport waypoint, but yes. Yeah, he is big. He ain't little. No, not yet. I know not what to expect yet. Ooh, hey. <laughs> Have you gotten a key yet? Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. These are always great. You know what? I do want to come in heavy-handed with this guy. Although, I'm not going to lie. I do want to see how he reacts. Well, one heavy-handed is kecking. The other heavy-handed is Ganyu. And he looks... <laughs> I just have to keck him into Ganyu. <laughs> oh dear. We're about to make a mess of his innards. Okay. First, we grab Ganyu. Yeah, and then... You didn't start the fight yet, did you? No. Good, 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 good. I want to be in on that. I need to give Ganyu her special bow back. I loaned it to Kali. 
Right. Let's see how he responds to ice. That will tell me everything. I'm going to start by hitting him from up here. Okay, he does respond to ice. Should I believe it? Okay. Ouch. That was rude. Okay. I mean, dodging lightning. Yeah. But you know, sometimes I'm in front of him, sometimes I'm behind him, sometimes I'm both. Aw, uh. don't make Klee cry. You are not allowed to do that, sir. I do not respect that. No. Bad. Okay. And now let's lower your elemental weakness. Whatever you think you could do, you couldn't do it. That's my promise. Ouch. Yeah, he's wielding multiple elements, it seems. Because I thought I saw some... some Anemo. You got me Tama Tama yo in. Sleep. Hmm. Yes, I did. Ooh, 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 give me this. <laughs> Because it disappears. It does. Yeah, that was pretty decent. Let's see what other kind of hell spawn exists in this area. If you see a boss, we can kill it. I don't mind. But let's keep progressing maps as well. Yeah, why not? Um, honestly speaking, this is dangerous. This is super dangerous. But I really want to get to that aisle. Um, it is called... <laughs> the super south one? Yeah. The island? Yeah, because apparently the mushroom I need is there. And there's a very good chance we can maybe find at least one or two. But there is fog. Let me check out this achievement Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need the, just the crystal barrel. I'm good to go. So I can do that on my own. Okay. So let's go get your mushrooms. Get your character out. <laughs> so we're going to send her. Him. Oh, okay. Toma. Toma. Uh, the other one okay. Nazuchi Beach. Um, let's find out. Hmm. Okay, Nazuchi Beach. Right now, my map shows too much of my um. Yeah, it's it's. Let me disable my filter here. Dendrobiums? Okay. Oh, I've been picking those up. I apologize. There's lots of them all around us. Like, you can't miss them if you're... Yeah. Uh, and, uh, right now. 
Okay. Alright. So Koji Sara is the character you're looking for? Alright, I'm setting up to look for items related to Kojusara. Mm hmm. Okay, so then are we heading? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you seem like you're in pain. You should heal. Ganyu says, mind the health of your child in your party. Yeah. Ooh, radishes. Carrots. One can never have too many carrots. All things are food in the land of Genshin. And food is life. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's just crafting materials. Crafting. Yes, crafting. Have you not been in your teapot? Boat. Yeah, I was ready. I know. I can be so full of ship. Are you ready? <laughs> Wessel. <laughs> it's my geo powered Wessel. I'm going to follow you. You have the same amount of stamina that I do, so all wave rider boats have the same stamina. Yep. <laughs> you don't see the shots, do you? I do. You're missing most of them. In fact, they're, they're actually splashing right in front, right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll be taking you down this time. Yeah. What health does your boat have? It's got... 12,322. Same. Yep. I think it's based off of the world level. Because the I, DPS I is negligible. If we get, if we get duel. Boat duel. Well, I think that dueling should be an aspect added to Genshin. Like, imagine, like, you really, you know, like, you know, my character's like, you know, got these stats and these weapons and these powers, but my character has this one. Let's find it out and see who's better. Yeah. Three thing, you know? I bet you that's coming. Mm hmm. I don't know how good your distance is. Uh, probably about as good as yours, maybe better. You actually you have certain details turned on that I don't. Yeah, I have uh, my graphics turned up to show off just a little, because uh, my GPU is not covered in a closed case, so it gets a lot of free flowing air, and it's a 1050 Ti. So, I don't have a lot of problems with that, and I've got DDR4 RAM, so, you know. Well, i got DDR4 as well, but I also have a 1660 Ti. Uh, my thing is, I like, turn off environmental stuff whenever I play game. Like, World of Warcraft and all that always did. So, like, I, I, will, I will, I don't see the clouds, but my boat clarity is just as good as yours. My spell clarity is just as good as yours. Right. So that's what I'm trying to keep That's fair. 
The only reason I'm pushing my computer as hard as I do is because it's open face. It's an open face panini. Hey, well, you know how hot my laptop is. Oh yeah, mine does too. And uh, when we, when we uh, reach the shore, I do want to uh, take a break for just a moment. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, what time is it? Like 9.50? Yeah, okay. So we're ending at 10, so we might as well just do that. Okay, well, let's go get the statue then. Mm-hmm. And then you have... Oh, wait, you wouldn't have the unlock. I wouldn't have the unlock, but that's okay. Because I can get mine myself, as you saw. <laughs> like, I ran most of the stream surfing around the islands. Yep, and I just, I went straight into hell, because if I can touch one continent, or if I can touch one waypoint on each island, then it means I have all the islands. If you notice when you uh, are zooming and stuff, the edge of the game gets like the, that like, you know, Star Trek, uh, the, the red border. Right? It also messes with the graphics uh, at the top of the screen, look. Hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, huh? That's pretty funny. Oh, this is, a oh. This is where. Yep. So there is one statue of the seven you can access here, and then we have to skirt oh, around the flock. That makes sense. Good programming. So, I'm gonna leave to let you take this. Yeah. I'm going to leave to let you take this. And then, of course, you... Um, if that's the case, then... Yeah, okay. If you want to call it, we're good. And then, um... Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just, uh... We'll start to wind down. Yeah, they couldn't hear you because uh, you your audio on Discord doesn't seem to work. So the whole time they've just been hearing my side. <laughs> it's one options menu, but I get it. It's not exactly the most user friendly. Oh yeah, that's for sure. That's weird. Although the elemental sight will make it easier to deal with, but the deeper in you go, the less likely it's going to let you proceed cuz the game is clearly trying to keep you out of this area, which not only is that rude, because I already found one waypoint. I just, I need those mushrooms. And if you're going to deny me my mushies, well, we got a problem. I need my glowing mushies. And this game is straight up trying to on me. You know when you go to an area you're not supposed to go to in the game? And Paimon is like, no, don't do it. Don't do that. Just like, you're trapped here. Oh, there's a boss on this island. That makes sense. Right. There's a specified character level up material on him called a Rift Hornet Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find these mushies so easily because they're trying purposely to keep us away. There's something called the Gladiator's Finale. 2 set, uh, eight, attack of 18%. Four yes, that's very popular. People are talking about that one. This is cool. 
Yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do research to understand how to get the mushies. That's probably what's gonna happen. So I guess we might as well start to call it because we got viewers dropping off and we're down to just us. So, hey, we had a good time. It was very fun. I'd raid somebody if they were available, but I guess that's it. But hey, I am wanting to do more Genshin stuff, so next time we will get your Discord working and we will try to create time for you to be, you know, less uh, occupied with the, uh, the galley of the ship. And uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll make that work. And uh, maybe next time Danny can join us and Danny wouldn't touch Genshin with a 10 foot pole after touching it once and realizing she hated it. So, you know, we get to hear her take on whether Genshin's a good game or not. Because, you know what? I'm biased because I like cute anime games with waifus and really nice bouncy physics. Especially when the bouncy physics are on the waifus. And I also love games that go out of their way to write hard, not just write. Because when you write a good story... It's addicting. And then you just love the characters. Yes. I determined that a minute ago. But what I'm going to try to do is get outside of the parameter of the fog. And maybe orbit around the outside of the island. Because I have the right to jank whatever I like. Okay? <laughs> And to make sure I don't lose my way so easily, we're going to get this waypoint all the way back here. Yes. Oh, where the wolf is? Yeah. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to jank my way out that way. And I figure if I go far enough to where Paimon's like, hey, don't do that, then I will be just outside of the fog radius. And maybe, on the other side of that island, I will find the treasured glowy mushrooms. Well, what's your map say? Uh, your app? My app says that they are pretty much all in the heart of the fog, but I still believe that the spawn point is a little bit scattered. I'm hoping that I can get to some glowy mushrooms. I don't believe I will, though. What right. At the very least, I get a spawn point near a boss, which is cool. And one that gives a very important character to send you Right. And then we can totally pound on that boss next time we hang out, huh? Yeah. Well, that's where both those bosses, like the one that we just beat, and this new one, we definitely got back to it. Yeah. 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 And at least I'm getting, like, lots of C. Ganondermas. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Okay, that looks welcoming. Oh, that's a new creature. Oh, yeah. That's like some kind of electric puppy, but with spikes. Yep. We're getting close. Hey, oh, they float? Very good. Okay, I think I'm almost there. I just don't see it. Okay, maybe it's on the other side. So I'm going to purposely try not to pick any fights so that we can get there smoothly. And with all this fog, I think we'll get away with it. Because that's totally how it works, right? <laughs> Yo, those claws are valuable for level ups. Oh, oh, there looks to be some kind of Pikachu side mission over here. Maybe if I spark it. Maybe if I spark it. Maybe something good will happen. Hey, chat. Do we think something good will happen if I spark it? What? What just happened? Oh, okay, okay, that just happened.
Right. Mm. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? There's like a golden rip. Oops. I am failing at my electro very badly. Here, let me. The enemies? Oh, because I got right past them. Mm hmm. I am bad at this Spider-Man business. Was that enough? Did I get them all? I did not. I am interested in getting my first Inazuma recipe though. So. Let's do it like this. Right, it's Inazuma too. So the food is good. By default. I'm stuck. I got stuck in the rock. Okay. We're gonna try one more time. Oh. Have a good shame, buddy. Hello. Who this? Hey, how you doing? It's good to hear from you. Yeah, we're we're doing pretty well. We're just uh, closing up, but we're having that last like couple of minutes here just to kind of goof around because we found a nice little puzzle and we're both hanging out in this area separately but together. Yeah, that's the magic of Genshin. Sometimes you can party up and do things together and other times you just happen to be in the same area and have the same headaches. Yeah, especially because like I really really think the world building in this game is nuts Like it's got a lot of culture and history vibes as though like somebody sat back and read a crap ton of like World history and literature before coming up with their own ideas of these different countries Oh my goodness. Oh, I yeah as Hmm. Wow, that's interesting. A Geo Spectre, which explodes violently if you make it mad. I mean, yeah, isn't that like the human condition? Right, you wake up in the morning and it's just like you're ready to explode then so you spend like 30 minutes in the bathroom and then you go you get breakfast Oh, uh, really quick Forza uh, It turns out there is a power that Fischl has that we have been ignoring for a minute If you shoot Oz with a fully charged shot he will actually create a lightning bolt that will strike down from the heavens and do some pretty decent damage. Stellar Predator. Yeah, I didn't know that was there. And because I have like four constellations on uh, on Fischl, like what? I've been missing out. Because it's 
Yo! Yeah, this week has just been brittle for me. I've been into a lot of animation. Oh, fun! Figuring stuff out. What kind of animations? Are you at liberty to talk about it? Uh, it's for my own personal ah. project. Uh, you know, I'm wanting. Making a Ooh. Yeah. I'm wanting to actually take some time to get a better feel for the UI in Blender when it comes to animation. Because I know that uh, basically, and actually next week will be a good week for that because uh, I'll be doing a lot of 3D modeling that week. So um, if you're interested in dropping in, I know I'm feeling Monday and Friday for art days. So I was thinking about doing a new animation for stream. So if you want to like help me and sort of show me how this stuff works. I'd appreciate it. Oh man, there is a lot of stuff. As a matter of fact, like I can give you some preliminary stuff because I've been going ham on it. All oh yeah. Week. I actually found a really good YouTuber by the name oh. of Nico. Yeah, I <laughs> What a name. Hey, yeah, you know what? <laughs> some British dude, and like, you know what? I'm, I'm respecting the name now because regardless of everything, though, he had a good heart and he explained everything that there is to do. Yo, that's pretty metal. Yeah, that's really metal. I've been doing the same thing with um, Royal Skies. Royal Skies does uh, five minute overviews of complex subjects. So it's like if you already have a cursory understanding of the process of something, he'll just like tell you the hotkeys and which sections you want to pay attention to for parameters. Trust me. That is one of the, my 500 YouTube channels. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I've it's it's like him and Blender Guru. They're just really good. Blender Guru, the normals. Uh, there's some dude called In 3D who does some really interesting tutorials. He has a whole tutorial on the constraints tabs and what they do. Every hmm. single one of them, from the dampened constraints. Line. Okay. You know what? Wild Star does animation as well, but they use um, they use Maya. So like, if ever you find yourself in the same like vicinity as Wild Star, say inside of the Discord or in the middle of a stream when we're doing some animation stuff, most definitely like say hello and make friends, cause I think Wild Star would appreciate your take on uh, like keyframing and posing and timing. Cause oh yeah, I've been going nuts and also trying to figure it out, find like, finding emotions. I even had the animator survival the guide book over here that I've been reading for the second mm. time again. You know, the first time you generally see as like being you and you still jump with that. But then the more you keep reading it, the more you get acquainted with the material, the you have a better understanding. I see. So I'm trying to really just take it that in. That makes time. sense. What's up, Forza? <laughs> Ooh, very good. So, uh, Forza was relaying that you can now do baking and water pots inside of your custom home. So it's getting more like Animal Crossing, except now you have an adventure to go on, on top of being able to customize your home, which is totally based if you ask me. Oh, sweet, because I do love my boar and my cat. But uh, I was going to say there, uh, one really cool thing that I've been wanting to dig into is that uh, Suvidriel, one of the uh, VTubers I follow, is really, really good at uh, Unity and good at programming. And so she's made applications that help uh, integrate avatars and the avatar application, like the puppeteering applications, into, um, into Twitch. So I need to learn how to do some effects uh, using both Blender and uh, Blender and Unity so that I can actually kick them on with uh, 
Okay, I'm not gonna live this fight. I'm just not. We're... Yeah. Uh... Yeah, no, I've been on a coding camp as well, too. So I've been going ham with the uh, okay. as well, too. Right now, I'm in making a little prototype for a little, like, rocket game where, you know, Yo. push the, the rocket so long. Hey, can we, like, co-stream one day? I could use a little help. Like, I have all this cursory knowledge of how C-sharp ought to work. And then... Like, when I actually sit down and I get to the thinking process, it turns into mush. So I'd love to just get a feel for, you know, your workflow and just kind of learn from that. Because sometimes following with the monkey see, monkey do logic really helps. Yeah, I mean, that's how I learned most of what I know in Blender. And... I will argue that I can handle geometry pretty damn well now. Now, uh, right now, what I've been really worried about is, um, so, like, for my prototype, we already have, like, a system where civilians just sort of wander around through points and points. Then we have another one where we have a vehicle system. Mm -hmm. And right now, this week, we're working on a weapon system, and then I'm still trying to finish up some of the environments, so, like, the house. Like that. Okay. That sounds cool. So I've been updating the PBR stuff with it. Ooh, I kind of want to see so, it all, and then you I've know? Been working on skyscrapers. Working on skyscrapers so that way. Um, are they like aesthetic so skyscrapers or are they like actually. They're real life. Alrighty, so you're actually making like an asset you can sell? Okay, so they're prefabs to use in your world design. Pretty much, yeah, I have some wonderful prefabs. Okay. I mean, I've been, like, wanting to make a maze game that uh, does a card system. But I haven't found good coding examples of how to deal with an inventory card system. Because I wanted to... I don't know if you're familiar with Mega Man Battle Network... But I wanted to apply weapons and effects to different cards and then use up a stamina bar every time you use a card. And it has its own, like, spawning, you know? So I get the logic behind it. It's just I have to actually, like, come up with the dossier and then actually learn how to make these effects and make them look impressive. So I did find good channels for that. I just have to put time in it, and having, like, a coding buddy around will definitely keep me on track. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. For the most part, what you're gonna want to know is what are your variables that are constantly changing, mm -hmm. um, what you're gonna be calling in, so, like, there's ways to cash references, so that way you have to put them a thousand Yeah. Times. And then you really have to think about your method structure, like, what is gonna be your... Like, what are your right. Like, for something like that, you would probably want to avoid. And so, like, that's... You probably would want to, like, return a void on, like, the card system. So then you're going to have to create some variable for the card system. Then you're going to need to create the uh, placeholder UI for the card system. Right. And then you're going to have to have a couple cards to get, like, some basic definition on it. And then you're going to have to put if that statement. Yes, yeah. I mean, you're just gonna have to, like, it's sort of weird, but it feels like every time that I'm coding with a computer, it feels like I'm talking to I mean, that's how, that's how one of my professors taught it when I first got into coding. It was Visual Basic, and my professor, she was absolutely great about it. I really miss her. I hope I see her one more time in my life. Because she was absolutely one of the best teachers. What she did was, she was like, okay guys, I think you're having trouble with logic. I've seen some of your code and it makes me cry inside. So we're going to do an exercise. And she had us all try to write her instructions on how to walk to the front door from the chalkboard. And she explained about how 
what we assume we know is not what's going to be available to the computer's knowledge set, and it's never going to assume or estimate until it is designed to do so. So, you know, she literally put herself at risk of walking into walls, which she did quite a bit, just to make sure we could understand no, you can't just say do it. You have to actually come up with ways of making it make sense. Like, use... Well, like, the weird way that logic works is it just basically forces you to, like, do everything. So if you want to finger move th in, in things, you have to, like, literally program a whole method on the finger. You need to program the conditions and why it needs to move. Then there's specific functions in Unity's, which is just basically callbacks, so stuff that's already pre-programmed in there, so that way you don't really have to worry about having, like, extra code in there, because the Unity engineer has already did so, so that way you don't have to go about right. code. Like, for instance, when you use get component dot transform and then position equals, and then, you know, calling a vector 3, then you define the vector 3, yeah. and then uh, basically use, using serialized fields, so that way you just available in the editor menu then you can you know switch it out and right then, like, it's, it's like just all around. It's there's just, so yeah. many like really easy things you can pull from learning like the way that each of the different handles of how to use unity work specifically c sharp because it's just a welcoming language i love c sharp but then it comes down to like the tried and true methods of some of the things and then like how two different programs really do have the capacity to talk to each other. Like I just requested to participate in a certain beta test for some VTuber software. And one of the questions that came up made me shiver. The question was, have you ever worked with node editors? And I'm like, yes, of course I have in Blender. And then I remembered every node I've ever edited in Blender fails to transfer over properly in Unity no matter what I do. And I assume it has something to do with the way that I write, or the way I, I export it. So, like, if it's an FBX, then it lost something. You know? No, for the most part, there's some things that transfer over and there's some things that aren't. So, what I would say for you is do it all strictly in Unity from the get your model. Bring in okay. your model in your shaders start using the nodes because not a lot of the same nodes are in there you're forgetting one of them like for instance the um mm -hmm. last node it basically uses uh refracted uh it's called ior is what it's called like the index yeah. of refraction there we go and and so their index of refraction is completely different from unity Yo. Unity doesn't really have has that like been that. what's been making like my gold textures and my glass textures look like they're on crack? Yeah. I'm yeah. so That's mad about it. that. They said the integration should have been smooth, and technically it is, but that's not smooth. Anyway, though, I don't want to get too stuck in conversation just yet. I do have to end stream because I promised to assist Danny with something, but... I am really happy to talk to you, and I would totally love to set something up. So hit me up, at me in the Discord, and uh, we shall plan for something interesting and exciting in the future where we can just sit down and have a nice talkie-talkie about electronics and, and, well, not electronics, but Unity and Blender, because, uh, yeah, I'm still working it. <laughs> I still am, and I'll be doing ship models. Dude, it feels like by the time I learn something, it's already outdated. There's new stuff out there. That's pretty much exactly what it's starting yeah, to Yeah, that's believe. the nature of the beast, but it's still worth doing. Anywho, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say bye-bye to the audience of the future, because it seems like uh, we've gotten most of the people to drop off already from our nerd doc, but it was already gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you. I actually felt like you were one of the best surprises of the night. <laughs> I was really happy to hear from you. I'm always happy to hear from you. 
and uh we gotta jump in on nerd kami again like next time he goes live he i have to uh I have to ask him like what his schedule looks like for those so I can be ready next time. Yeah. Yep. Well, anyway, I am gonna 